wants to speak to you. Go to the Vulcal Guard Mage's Guild. Quick, quick. Ah, excellent. You got my message. Apparently, that little creature isn't completely useless. Banekin can be such children. I hope you've nothing pressing. We could be here a while. I can't be strutting around the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching, but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. By now, it should be clear your prophet emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Granted, Menemarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Harbor. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the Soul Burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original five claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious nonsense, but he is quite correct on one point. We need to find Sai Sahan. In the chaos following the Soul Burst, Sahan stole the Amulet of Kings and fled the Imperial City. We're going to need that relic, and he is the only one who knows its current location. He was captured by Minimarco's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. We need to find out where he's being held. Minamarco keeps his most secret documents in a hidden lair of Daedric cultists deep within the Grantwood, in the ruins of Wormroot Depths. We must travel there and search for clues. Remember, Wormroot Depths, Grantwood. I'll meet you inside. If I can endure Titanborn's inane prattle, I can survive your assuredly erudite elucidations. Proceed. Well, if you must pry... I am Chancellor to the Elder Council and Overlord of Nibone. But of all my titles, the greatest is my family name, Tharn. We are the greatest of the noble houses, with seats at the Imperial Court for countless centuries. Politicians? A grossly inadequate word to describe our duties and our legacy. The Tharns have a storied history of advising kings and emperors that can be traced back to the First Era. We understand the ebb and flow of power. Clivia, she is comfortably lodged in Manamarco's pocket, along with my nephew, Jabard. I doubt they've given my disappearance a second thought. Ah, fair Clivia. My charming girl grew to be a ruthlessly ambitious woman. I taught her well. Ah, there's the rub. With my untimely defection, my family will likely be divested of its holdings. The name Tharn is probably being stricken from every document in the Imperial Archives as we speak. I detest being on the wrong side of history. Don't sound so smug about it. This is a setback, nothing more. By allying with you, I will liberate the Empire from Menemarco's grip. The Empire is all that matters to me. I will do what I must to ensure its survival. King of Worms? I can and I shall. 
Where is the amulet of kings? You cannot break the will of a son of Yakuda. I spit on you. So, Saisahan is alive and he has not been broken. An important piece of the puzzle, to be sure, but where is he being kept? Chimel Adabal, the amulet of the kings of glory, an artifact of the divines, a badge of office for the ruling emperors of Cyrodiil, and the key to my ascendancy. Yet it eludes me. Exploiting its power to bring about the calamity of our age was intoxicating. It made me aware of the limitless possibilities available to one strong enough and fearless enough to use it to achieve his own end. The amulet has the power to create or destroy, but it also has the power to undo the damage caused by the soul burst, to mend the tear in the barrier between Nern and Oblivion. I must recover it before some fool fixes that which must remain broken. He knows of our plan to use the amulet to set things right. We must rescue Sai Sahan before he can be broken. The Red Guard's iron will cannot be overcome with standard interrogation techniques. Physical tortures appear to be useless. I have therefore instructed the Daedra to move Sai Sahan into the Halls of Torment. The Duchess will be most pleased to have a new guest. His flesh is strong, but perhaps her tortures of the mind will break him. I have come too far to allow this upstart swordmaster to thwart my plans. I will find the amulet, one way or another. This is the information we've been looking for. At last, Sai Sahan has been taken to the Halls of Torment. Oh yes, it's Cold Harbor's most nefarious prison. The Daedra in the Halls of Torment reach deep into the dark places of a prisoner's mind and torture them with apparitions of the things they most dread. It's an effective tactic. The Daedra mock our emotional attachments and the memories that form our sense of self. Daedra have no use for such things. They are immortal. It's impossible to kill Daedra. They simply reform over time. Of course I can. I am Abnathan. But first, I have a bit more research to do. Go back to the Harbridge and tell Varen what we've discovered. I'll meet you there once I've made the necessary preparations.
unexpected visit. What brings you back, Vestige? At last! Where can he be found? Well done. I will begin searching for a safe route to the Halls of Torment immediately. I was going to say that a river flows and we are slaves to its current. But I am done with riddles and metaphors. I don't know what awaits us. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a foolish old man who glimpsed the wisdom of the scrolls and survived. When Tarn returns, we will combine our resources. We will find a path to these halls of torment soon enough. We'll find Sai Sahan. And if Manamarco gets in our way, I'll chop that sniveling, knife-eared puddle of troll piss into little bite-sized pieces.